Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, tell family your name and who's out this way. Well, first of all, me and Mr. Wuri, normally called Ibrahim Wuri. And yeah, within a fit of Mashaka Highway, when a one of my sites here where they try to do production, uh, Konta Sula, fit of Mashaka Highway. Okay. And family go for no, who then are this Mr. Wuri and everything Mr. Wuri? Okay, me and Mr. Uri, we na the person we commonly started one competition with and called at this country Salon Strongest Man. I based in the UK with my family. I get five kids and uh we deal with all my family in the UK and uh when I come back from UK I serve over twenty something years in the UK. And I come back home and see what I will bring back to my community for change the lives of this youth. Because 2010, I relocated back in a saloon. But when I come back, I see the country the way we they go. It not look that well. I made some kind of defection between the youth and the other youth. Then call themselves the Red Movement and Black Leo. Those are the things. So I count an idea. Red and Black. Where I count an idea for say, if you get drunk, let me give you something to do. Because we believe say this is the way or how Europe started and how they become successful and are able to engage a peace match between the mountain city and the fuller town and alhamdulillah for today all these kind of workers don't own the country so this is the one kind of way why i can at this country for can give back to the ideas and the money we are making in europe for that give back to the community so that i will be able to give them back a leadership style how this country will be benefit how we don't go benefit the western world all right, sir. Um, what's not the land skill of the of the cassava farm we get so right now? Well, it's about sixty-four acre land. Now I buy. When I buy, I'm a try for able to secure them, fence them around, and at the end of the day, I create job opportunity, job employment for the youth them. Both the one they win at the city boys them because who don't they see until they will use them. The future they go under the drain because now they see a better future again. For the youth, they will be, will be see their skilled workers and I bring them on together. I say, This is not the dream. I come back from September. I say, Well, let me learn their life. It will make sure that I give job opportunity before I go able to come into housing estate. Because the dream is, they look, say, people are now, then they come out from the provinces, the upline, everywhere now they want to stay in the city and lack of housing. Because we're not going to just depend on our government, then we'll build for you the local houses them. We'll be say we'll locals houses them. We'll be meet today, we'll not able to get there again. So before that, now we can engage the youth and say, you know what? Let's go first into agriculture. Because I get the knowledge on agriculture. I say, well, we'll do this, we will work out the feeding program where we on government, the president, the advocates in the international world about go feed me and food back to the table, and he believe again about human capital. So if he believe on that, and I have the IQ, the knowledge and the wisdom, and with the blessing of my brothers them, and the support of my wife, my family, my picking them, and we say, let's create some things where the country says will be able to benefit. Now you make a Biden land there, and I call the agriculture program, we put all over cassava, pepper, onions, carrots, everything where they will benefit back the country. Okay, um, how many stars there you don't take from uh, this farm in the hospital? Well, for you, now 64 young guys them, and 12 women them, now they are get fire. Where they work here? Is that 64? Now they will from a young woman in there? Or they will no, then they separate the young man because we get to do. Uh, Multi system pattern. The woman them is there for incorporation for cover. So the total is 64 plus 12 now. 70, 76. 76. 76. 76. Uh, 76. Uh, how do they manage this land? Well, the first thing was because some of them then become on assistance, some of them because you get for look at how transportation don't become exorbitant for each country. Petrol station don't become more expensive. So I able to build houses them around the quarters them so that they get full accommodation. See, get more passion 
for young people to promote young talent here. We think this will benefit the country as a whole, looking at the current situation of the country in terms of food scarcity. Well, this I'm not going to go much again because as you they see the development where we don't put, the beneficiaries, you know, go only be for the community, it will become for the country as a whole, and it will become for even outside world because then go see, see the Australians them we believe in to feed themselves rather than depend so outside world food because if these productivities we able to produce them in the next because now cassava leaf the plan is because I even contact some other people way like uh, Phoenix for low we able to get a machine now this country will go able for this cassava leaf will be hygienic for going at the supermarket, even yeah, market packaging. now, we already don't become packaging. Now the only country this will we get all this opportunity. Yeah. Up to today with the pit cassava, no matter what do and <laughs> feel please. Now the only country this way today they use fireside wood. They still they feel happy, say yes, we're okay. So we just need for bridges connection, the line of poverty now we'll start for follow suit to other developing countries then will be better off past the other African countries. Yeah. A place like Ghana, where you go in Addis Kassava, then are the staple food. Then they able to produce them into 10 to 15 different ways. But Salon today, what you believe, no more gari, fufu, that's it. The empty cassava, the empty cassava boiler. himself, boiler, and, and the leaf of himself. <laughs> so me one sets that principle day, let cassava become a champion, let everybody we believe into agriculture. Let not come only in a field some for cancer dumb, depriving family, depriving picking them. They're not going to get better education. They're not going to be able to become future leaders where we don't go tomorrow. Because if I would have seen no more this world, we get for go. And one level people they can't copy with style there. Prepare the generation. Prepare the generation, generation. because generation on yet unborn. On yet unborn. Yeah. Because now everybody don't kick out agriculture like uh a virus thing. Everybody's here now. One can at the city. We office. don't get everything. One go to office, they're not able to get the requirements. They're not able to get a better education because why? They engage <laughs> themselves into other activities then. But if we able to draw the attention of the youth, the elder them, the politicians them, for let them able to get back the vision, because you get for lead to an example yeah. that your constituents yourself get far. Yeah. Even the president himself gets a farm. A farm. All the presidents they all don't get in this country, they all don't put farms there. So if we yourself as a youth say they come as a businessman, we will get farms them. The young they say where they follow we where they suit up. You go call it, you go say, oh that me boss man you get farm even in says and in Baghdad you go able to dig the incest and make your own farm. Yeah. Rather than for kind of more say oh can't give me this can't give me this. So I think say this agricultural project Work out again at this country, individual will not one day get no support from nowhere, no tractor, no nothing, no man labor. Now, in week out, now invent to young ones and to youth and say, because we're not able to get tractor, we're not able to get anything machine. so far, machine, we're able to do. Now, the only thing I will be stuck on, I need a machine for the country as a whole where we go able to produce this, let it go become a stable food. Let poverty go able to drive, will drive angry in the country. So this time we appeal to, to the government, to the local NGOs, international NGOs, we get the feeling, the Soviet, the empathy of this country, so that let this country will become a country where we are able to enjoy the freedom and the security, liberty, where we get a young yeah, free country, free town, not the most peaceful country ever. Well, we don't see a part of the civil war, we don't pass through. All right, all right. All right. Um, thank you so much. For we talk to um, to um, credible news network for people to call CNN Salo. My name is Mina Fatima Kabo. It's me, Sandu Kamara.